Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, test annotation attribute that is invocation count and invocation timeout. Invocation count is basically used to specify number of times a test method has to be executed. Whereas invocation timeout, it is used to specify the maximum number of milliseconds this test should take for the cumulated time of all the invocation counts. Remember, this attribute, this invocation timeout attribute will be ignored if invocation count is not specified. Is nothing but invocation timeout has to be used along with the invocation count. Otherwise, it will be ignored. Let's see a practical example. I have created a test with invocation count class, which is having five test methods. Let's define invocation count for a test to method. Let's give as four and run it. Now this particular test to method has to be executed four times. Now you can see. one two three and four perfect let's define invocation count sorry let's define invocation timeout that is three thousand millisecond is nothing but three seconds and define a thread dot sleep here thousand milliseconds is nothing but one second it's going to throw a interrupted exception that's the reason i defined throws interrupted interrupted exception now this particular test 2 will be executed for four times that means each test will take one second that means this test 2 will take totally four seconds but by specifying the invocation timeout this test two will be only wait for three seconds. Let's see. Let's execute this one. Now we can see that test two is executed only three times because the maximum timeout we have given is three thousand milliseconds is nothing but three seconds that means the test it to even though i specified uh, invocation count as four but it only can execute for three seconds that means every test will execute for one second as i specified one thousand milliseconds it will execute for one second so it only allowed for three times for the fourth time we already crossed the invocation timeout that is three seconds so it will fade You can also see that it will be failed. It says that thread timeout exception method test two didn't finish didn't finish within the timeout that is three thousand millisecond is nothing but three seconds. Thanks for watching.